My name is Caitlin Allen. I'm doing this speech for my speech class. It's going to be a speech over hand washing. Um, the purpose is basically how to wash your hands properly. Most people don't know how, or they wash their hands and then they go ahead and touch something else that have germs on it, and your hands aren't clean anymore. Um, some of the main points that I'm going to hit is basically most people are in too big of a hurry, don't wash their hands right, the do's and don'ts of washing your hands, and step by step on how to wash your hands. My question is, do you wash your hands as often as you're supposed to? And do you wash them correctly? Most people don't. Um, I'm going to start with how you properly wash your hands. After you get done using the restroom, you're supposed to wash your hands. So you're going to grab some soap, and you're going to turn on the water. You need to get some warm water. Most people think it doesn't matter if it's hot or cold. It doesn't matter. But honestly, hot water kills germs. Um, most people, they scrub for about two seconds and they wash their hands back off and they think their hands are clean. Then you go and you grab for the paper towel holder, which is usually dirty too, because everyone else has put their hands on that dirty sink and everywhere else, so when they go to grab the paper towel holder, it's dirty. So there's germs. And after you cleaned your hands, you just touch the dirty paper towel holder and then once you throw your paper towel away, you go to grab for the door, which some people don't wash their hands whenever they're done using the restroom, so the door handle's dirty too. Mm, you think you have clean hands, but sorry to tell you, you don't. Now I'm going to talk about the do's and don'ts of washing your hands. Get a paper towel before you wash your hands. So if it's a pump one, go ahead and pump it before you wash your hands. Or if it's the one you just slide your hand over it, just slide your hand over it. Get the temperature warm. You don't have to be hot, but it can't be cold. It needs to be warm. You need to get your some soap and scrub them. I was always taught count your ABCs while you're scrubbing your hands. The don'ts are basically kind of what I went over. Once you have clean hands, don't touch nothing dirty. Everything in the bathroom is usually dirty. And don't just scrub the bottom of your hands, you need to scrub the top, between your fingers, fingernails, wrists, whole 10 yards. Like I said, don't use cold water. Now I'm going to tell you step by step on how you should wash your hands in the proper way. Step one, you need to turn on the warm water. Not too hot, not too cold. Step two, put your hands under the warm water and get your hands wet. Get you some soap. Make bubbles using the soap. Then you need to remember to scrub the bottoms, tops, wrists, fingernails, the whole 10 yards of your hands. Then you need to rinse your hands off. You need to get the paper towels. If it's the electric one that you put your hand under, if it's the pump one, you need to get it before you wash your hands. And don't throw the paper towel right away when you get done drying your hands off. Go ahead and use that to shut off the water, open the door, and then throw it away. Even if you have to take the paper towel with you outside of the bathroom, find a trash can and throw it away. Now you have clean hands. You didn't touch nothing dirty, so you're good to go. And the reason why I say use a paper towel to open the door and everything is, like I said, most people don't wash their hands when they leave in the restroom. Everyone's in too big of a hurry. So if you don't have, so if you have clean hands, don't touch nothing dirty. Step eight, once you've opened the door and shut off water, throw your paper towel away, and you're all done. Mm. Basically, I just went over with you how to wash your hands properly. Like I said, most of you don't think about how much germs are actually in the bathroom, but there is a lot. And most people don't know how to do it the right way. So... I just told you how to do it, so hopefully you will know how to wash your hands now and do it properly and get the germs away and save everyone some time and be germ-free. So, good luck and wash on.